Hey guys, I'm gonna do the collective read today um, just to see what's going on with the energies that I pulled. I'm in between clients. So, yeah, I'm sitting on the ground. I don't like chairs and stuff, I'm a ground person. Closest to the earth. Ah, I wanted to do it this way. I wanted to see what is going on the collective energies that we pulled. We had a masculine wanting to move towards the divine feminine. So let's see if my glasses they really bother me. <laughs> I need to go get that laser eye surgery. I kind of like watching you guys, you know. Uh, thank you, you guys, for 4,000 subscribers. Um, you know, I've been on this back and forth journey myself. You know, when I heal, I heal. You know, I'm a warrior woman. I go deep. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of shifts that are happening. I thank you guys. I'm going to be running a contest. I am going to be giving away a one hour read with me. And I'm going to be giving away my tarot deck. So I'm going to be putting all that. I've never put a getaway together before. So I'm going to be doing that um, over the weekend. And I'll be announcing it by this weekend. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And how to enter. And we'll be doing the draw at some point. If it's towards the end of next week. So yeah. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to be pulling cards a little differently today. Let's see what's going on in the energy spirit. You were bringing through this morning what is going on can you please give us an understanding we have the knight of swords in reverse so something has been halted what's been halted spirit let's get some more energies okay so we have the uh knight of swords in reverse with the hermit in reverse being exiled being left out is the energy that i'm getting we have who got quite a bit here we've got so spirit is telling me to do it this way. I'm just in between clients here. Some powerful energy is coming through with my clients today. I'm wearing my goddess pink, you know. I used to hate pink when I was a kid, but I'm more of my feminine. So I'm like wearing my goddess jewels, you know, the whole day. So, okay. Here's what we got. We have the knight of swords in reverse, the hermit in reverse. We have the hanged man, Okay. Clarifying the Knight of Swords in Reverse is the Two of Cups. Clarifying the Hermit in Reverse is the Knight of Cups. And we have the King of Swords clarifying the Hangman. So, y'all, this is what I'm saying, okay? There's an ending of a relationship that's completely halted. And we saw that in the energies today. And there, uh, there's a wait that's still happening um for this things have halted in the connection but there hasn't been a full ending why is that yeah we have a karmic energy here with the star in reverse that this person is not healing they're unhealed it's not their wish they're hanging around in the energy some uh yeah this queen of wands but there is illumination that's happened here clarify the sun with the seven of pentacles please spirit yeah there's no action here it's like they're waiting around, but it's like nothing's going to come of this. And so, yeah, they're not, nothing's going to come of it. Clarify that waiting around energy. So please spirit with the sun and waiting. They're like, they're waiting around for their happiness, but there's no action. Yeah. And they feel completely betrayed. So something's happened in a connection here. You guys, that is a karmic energy that is ending. That is not a fulfillment for somebody. Could be your divine masculine, right? Not a fulfillment for somebody. They are wanting to move forward. We have the Four of Pentacles with clarifying the star in reverse. So things aren't healing with this person. That's why there's been a massive halt. There's a clinging and a hanging on energy here and a rejection with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So who is this person, Spirit? Who is this person? Learning lessons, getting called up by Spirit. This, the hierophant is not just tradition of marriage and, and things like that. It's about the lessons of life, of what of a higher nature, of what spirit is bringing in. To break things down here, we have the nine of cups in reverse, yeah, with the four of cups. So yeah, y'all, this is like, I want to take God's cup that was offered to me. I want to do that. And um, this is not my wish. This is not my ten of cups. This is just the egoic stuff that I've been building in my whole life. So there's been an exile. The hermit in reverse can definitely mean like a, a shunning. <laughs> you are shunned. You are shunned out of my life. And so this, in order to be able to bring this knight of cups. So 
what is this hermit in reverse? We have the world in reverse, a return to the past, okay? So having to like abandon somebody, kick them out of their inner world is what I'm seeing, purge them out of their inner world and to return to the past because they've been at a crossroads. They weren't seeing things clearly and things were changing here. Clarify that two of swords, what is that? Not seeing the divine feminine, being emotionally manipulated in certain situations is what's happening. So what I'm seeing here is somebody, somebody gonna, why am I hearing Russell Peters? Somebody gonna get that really bad. <laughs> somebody, I don't know if you guys are watching Russell Peters, that's coming through my intuition. Somebody's gonna get a hurt real bad. So somebody's getting a hurt real bad here, okay guys? There is a rejection that's happening here. There is a, um, no action is being taken. Somebody's wishes uh, are being not fulfilled. Someone's learning their lessons here. I believe it's the divine masculine, could be divine feminine, but I'm gonna read whatever the energies are coming through. As you guys can see, my channel, whoo, things are happening very quickly in my life. So I'm even getting told to shuffle differently. So you gotta follow how spirit guides you, right? So this is definitely, um, a betrayal that's happened here with karmic energies that feels very rejected where things aren't healing. Um, what I'm getting here is somebody wants to return to the past where they've closed off and denied the div divine feminine, but they're still at a crossroads here. They don't know how the divine feminine feels because there was a, yeah, we have a king of wands coming out here with the king of pentacles and the seven of swords. So there was a deception. There was a deception here in a family, in a unit, in a home, something that's happened by a divine masculine here who wants to action this now, um, who's been at a crossroads. And what is this? Uh, they might be sly. I'm getting this person's a little sly, has exiled somebody out of their internal life and not telling them their plans anymore with the seven of swords because they want to stop fighting. So they can't even open up. I don't even think they can even be friends with this individual. Yeah, they have to move on with the Six of Swords and travel and move on to calmer waters here. And it's really uh, with this Knight of Cups so they can take their cup. They're taking their cup. I'm taking my cup somewhere else. Yeah, because they're ending uh, obsessions, toxicity, codependency, things that don't, you know, and that's what I was getting from the read this morning, you guys. Um, I'll link it down below. So it was like really a place of... Um, yeah, I'm purifying my energy. And you know, guys, like, especially if you're a high evolved soul, if you're on a twin flame journey, you're a high evolved soul and you can't have energies infiltrate you. It's too much. Your environment does affect you at some point. You, there's an in and out. There's a back and forth. You are constantly growing and healing. And so the more sensitive you become to energies, you become very careful of who you let in. Um, I'm the same way. I don't let people come into my vibe unless you are cleared. Like if that shit ain't cleared, I am out. If you can't see my power and honor me, I can honor you. It has to be recipro reciprocity, right? Like if somebody denies what I see and how clear I see, I want them in my life. I've already been called crazy my whole life. Why do you want that? It's the same kind of thing as what this person is going through. It's like, you know what? My visions are real. My insight is real. My knowing is real. And yet you continuously hang and cling and try to manipulate the energy. I'm getting a lot of manipulation energy here with that Queen of Cups in reverse. Clarify that spirit. And spirit is saying, yeah, wanting a new solid path, wanting to ground something. And they were emotionally manipulated out of some. There's the King of Pentacles, Divine Masculine, wanting to ground that energy. Right? Yeah, this is some really good energy. It's coming through. Using his intuition, following that intuitive place, honoring the Divine Feminine within him the intuitive place because within a masculine is the divine feminine on the inside no one can, you can't make that shit up yeah you can't make up who your soul is <laughs> especially for high evolved souls you pick two bodies to come in that's magical shit you cannot make that up okay anybody can try and fake it and be it not ever gonna be it right so sorry about it sorry not sorry so <laughs> i'm on fire i'm sorry guys i've been having some really like powerful women coming through who are transitioning and just yeah, if you guys want to work with me, look down below, like some really high evolved souls coming through. We have the strength in reverse. Look at this. Not being courageous enough with the divine masculine here. Uh, ego all over the place. Okay, not being able to tame that ego in his life. Taking control of that ego is what I'm seeing now. In order with that eight of wands that came up in the read too. Like a pink matches. Um, yeah, that eight of wands to be able to give with that six of pentacles to travel, come, communicate, be passionate towards the divine masculine and did some spell magic. When I see this card, um, I see a binding rituals and things like that to bind people together. It's like, uh, cutting those ties. That's why this karmic is having such a difficult time. They may have done black magic, black spells, 
manifest in a really uh, ego way because you can manifest material wealth, but you can do it from your head or you can do it from the essence of your soul. When you do it from the essence of your soul, it's everything that you want. It's not going to be what your mind wants, right? So that's the difference between manifestation. I work with people in alchemy and how to do it from your soul. You got to heal inside to know how to create that. So yeah, this is um, an ending, massive transformation, okay? Somebody is definitely ending. Is somebody going to get a heart real bad? <laughs> That's what I hear. Keep hearing that. Somebody going to get a heart real bad. Sorry. The hurt and the suffering is an opportunity, you guys, to move into self-love, to move into a higher calling here. Yeah, I like doing the readings better this way. I like seeing you guys. Yeah, healing, right? Separation. That's why separation is needed. Someone wants to come back to the past that was imbalanced here because that is their ten of cups. Can't make that up. So let's take a look here. We have the hangman with the king of swords in reverse. So we have the queen of uh, swords on reverse. Now, this person is the karmic. They're blocked. They're mad as shit. They're mad. Okay. They're hurting real bad. They're hurt real bad. And we have the hangman. Um, this masculine may have been somewhat narcissistic, blocked as well. Okay. That's where they were mirroring. Yeah, they're a soul couple, but they're complete narcissistic, disgusting energy. I'm sorry. It's about not about the planet, not about helping other people. It's about their own money in their own pocket. How to gain the money, how to gain stability. There ain't no love in this connection. And they're in reverse, okay? In reverse. So it was manipulation. It was darkness. And they had to be stuck in this situation, both karmic and divine masculine. and um, Or divine feminine. Take it as it resonates. But I mostly work with divine feminines because I am very feminine. Um, yeah, very feminine, <laughs> like beyond feminine. Um, there's like a massive, um, heightening that's happened here and an illumination that had to come about here. Look at that. I can't make that shit up. Magic happens here, guys, on my channel. Just so you know, I'm magical. So this shit happens all the time. Um, I'm not surprised by it anymore. I've just accepted the magic because that shit, you saw me shuffle. Yeah, there was no love in this situation. No love in this situation. It was codependent. It was attached. It was toxic. And spirits like, nah, y'all, that shit got break down. Three of pentacles in reverse with the king of cups. He felt it. He knew his heart was not in it. It is not his heart. It is not his soul's calling. Because you know what, Divine Feminines? We are the soul calling because you've done the work and you're doing the work. And so if you're still healing and doing the work and need help, hit me up, man. Seriously. Um, I'm doing readings again. Let's do it. Let's get you on your path. Look at this. Illusions, right? This masculine had to go into the illusions to really know his um, truth, to know his intuition, to heighten that intuition, right? With that high priestess card that came out. Look at this. With the king of pentacles, spirits bringing me to show you this, right? He had to ground such a high potency of energy in order to get to that point, right? All right. We're going to do karmic energies next, guys. Um yeah walking away wow had to go in this divine masculine had to go in to his feelings to understand things that he may have been a fe fearful of like with his feelings for a really long time in order to put a halt to his life and to finally walk away from this it was a very difficult um situation because there was a lot of binding he had to discover more in his path some very hurtful communication look at this with the tower upright breaking shit down there that's what the delay is if you've had a delay in your connection or you've been in separation for a really long time with the love making a decision um there was a lot of regrets that had to end because somebody is being abandoned in order for the nine of wands to be person to move forward to work on this to focus on this new love so there is a new love coming through somebody had to fail in life and had to change their plans that was very heartbroken here okay because they pushed their divine feminine. Now, do you see how much I had to take at the bottom of the deck? That's the depth that this person had to go through to see how much they suppress their divine feminine energy. This person has addictions. This person has codependency issues. And they're realizing they need their divine feminine because she holds this, this um, essence of nurturing that they haven't been able to nurture themselves. And they had to look at how they treated women. Yeah, they had to look at how they really treat women. And that came out in this karmic energy. We are going to pull now for the karmic energy. Let's see what's going on with the karmic. What is going on with the karmic? I'm going to use a different deck. I don't know what deck to use. <laughs> this is, yeah. Oh, over here. Yeah, you're right, spirit. 
that's the one I wanted. All right, we're gonna do regular right away. Let's see, yeah. All right, let's just go into the karmic energy, guys. Spirit, what is going on with the of water? What is going on with the karmic energy that we pulled today? <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm getting some messages here, guys. Just give me a sec. All right. It's going to be a pause in their in their process. This person is not quite moving away. I think they they feel that they can't do it on there. They don't have any confidence in themselves to be able to do the path that they want to go down, the spirit is saying. And so um, they're going to have a little bit of a break, enough to allow the masculine to move into a new situation or to gather themselves. But as soon as they feel that there is a, a more of a disconnect in their 3D world, this, this person, this karmic energy is attached to their 3D world. Uh, they struggle with their inner knowing. They have a lot of childhood wounds to go through, okay, because they are massively clingy and attached. Uh, Spirit is saying that in order to move out of that, they're going to need another break down. Mm. So even if your masculine is what I'm seeing comes towards you, you guys, Spirit is saying that um, there's going to be a massive, um, this, this karmic energy is not gone. They're going to try and yeah, I'm getting some of the karmics may message some of y'all. <laughs> so be prepared and be like, yeah, you know, I just want to help. I know you guys have a sacred connection. I just want to be a part of this. Don't. Nobody can come in between your calling. You have to keep it pure, especially when you're a divine masculine. If he returns and this is a thing and you're getting on mission and he wants to do the work, you got to keep it pure, guys. You got to build the strength of the union to know who's actually in the calling. That's what this masculine was doing. This is what the divine feminine is doing right now is healing to purify. You have to become purified in your gifts. Like there's just no way about it. Like you have to. Um, and it's a hard path. This is what I teach is not easy. Um, I'm not a new ager. Like, oh, let's meditate. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> it's hard ass brunt work. Dark and light together. Manifesting together. You can't have one without the other. And you got to learn how to walk through that dark, my loves. You have to. Because this world's filled with darkness. Okay? You've got to learn to become masters of that. That's what I teach. That's what I teach. So let's see. Spirit, what is going on with this karmic energy? What is really going on with them? Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, we got the Hierophant. Learning their lessons. They want marriage, though. Learning their I'm going to clarify. Learning their lessons about this divine feminine. They see that. They see that. Now, listen, you're not a queen, y'all. Well, I know I'm not. Queens, you know, they, they dictate and tell people what to do, right? That's why this karmic energy is coming up in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Money. Gold digger is what I'm getting money stability we can make love we can make the love that we want if we have the abundance we can make the love that's such from an attached place that's what I'm hearing reminds me of this woman that I did Temescal with I don't work with her because she's an evil shaman and um she said that and the Temescal looked at me with this evil look and I was like she's like you can make your abundance and I'm like no you can't that God has your abundance you align to God that's how it works and so this this karmic feels that if they just continued um, she can't hold this energy of an empress because an empress does not dictate. She's she's all the queens, right? She's all the queens and a bag of chips. And she uh, listens to God like Joan of Arc did and follows and allows and flows and gets practice in that so that she knows when God is speaking and what is right and what is wrong and what and how to move in the energies. That's real. That's real abundance, aligning to the real abundance that can manifest and come down from the higher planes. So... They don't want to move on. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I, I can't make this up. Don't want to move on. This bitch don't want to move on. Bye, bitch. You're just going to suffer. That's just how it is. Sorry. Can't make it up. Yeah, let's do another one. Yeah. We look at the cards that are coming out today. I'm going to start picking this way. This is great. We have strength. Is they're trying to hold that strength? I feel that's an egoic card. Passion. Yeah, they can't move on because they're... The fool on the bottom. So listen, y'all. They they are supposed to be. We got karmic energy, passionately trying to take a leap of faith into their new beginning. They're trying, but they're so imbalanced, right? 
they're trying but fate has come in right so karmic wheel is turning they are not going to get away with anything that they've done in the past is what i'm getting we have the hierophant here with the death card okay in their mind space they know that this marriage has ended they know this commitment is done for it's trans it's transforming now there's endings and new beginnings they are sad maybe about how they treat the divine feminine i'm feeling this this karmic person is trying to really move on in their life but they don't want to really move on in their life they want well maybe i should make it right with the divine feminine <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't apologize to her. No, that's never going to happen. <laughs> right? To my family, you have to know your power. You have to know that karmic energies cannot hit your level in this lifetime. It is not a thing. Not a thing. That's why I know I'm a true twin. That's why I help real twins. That's why I help not, not what you're seeing in the New Age community either because I don't see what they're healing. I like, the, I like to see all those twin couples that, that claim that they're twins come drink some ayahuasca with me. Let's see. Let's see your divinity. I, I call you on it. Truly. Truly, because um, there's too much new age bullshit that's going on and I hate it because it's such a sacred connection. And I'm sorry, I'm feeling fired today, guys, because I'm working with some powerful divine feminines that know their shit and they're not finding they're finding all this other new age crap is hindering them. And that it hindered me, too. That's why I'm doing this. And this is like um, this divine feminine energy is like this karmic wants to come forward and be like, I'm sorry about how I treated you. <laughs> We have the divine masculine, not her masculine, right? Gold digger wanted the stability, wanted to try and create the love out of like a ooh, zaza zing, you know, let's like do it this way. And no, it, it was overly controlling, it was overly possessive, way too attached, way too codependent. I feel that this masculine, some of them may have fallen back into patterns that they may have thought that they healed. Could be other addictions, could be sex addictions, could be drugs, could be um, focusing overly on money, 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 money. Like this person is like really gone backwards in their life is what I'm feeling. They've had awakenings, but they're realizing that they're awake. Thank you, Spirit. Their internal world and their awakening is definitely not matching their 3D world. Not in any way, shape and form. And this karmic energy is like trying to persuade them into that i mean they're trying to move on granted but it ain't gonna be for long it, it, listen this this karma can't heal to the extent they think oh i'm gonna do this and it's gonna heal and i'll do this differently and they may have a little awakening but those dark forces come in and siphon right back real quick um you have to be persistent on this path to heal you have to be persistent this is like not wanting to move forward right not wanting to um move into a new direction so they're holding their strength with the ace of wands trying to tame that ego um and they're blocked with their intuition i sometimes i see this as we're being revealed things coming secrets coming up this uh the high priestess upright is yeah is like um knowing your intuition and following it and not knowing what's behind there and following it but in other areas i also see this as a block and it's coming up as a block right now because they want what the divine feminine has <laughs> sorry you're not a divine feminine you know everyone gets their wheel on the kaleidoscope it's not their lifetime you need to accept that you know divine feminines who are meant to rise in this life in the twin flame journey um yeah they've done the work like i'm sorry they've done the work they have a high calling like a high tangible calling so what is this with the karmic energies here spirit let's clarify first this new beginning can you clarify this new beginning with fate that's coming in how are they doing with it yeah because their masculine is blocked they're not giving anything not offering anything to this karmic so they're being forced to have to do this to be single with the nine of pentacles and they're very imbalanced why are they imbalanced they're very imbalanced with this because of this love this sacred love the angels god is guiding it um that they try to push this away for a long time right yeah it has brought conflict into this karma god bless their soul you know let them move on but move <laughs> move um god bless your soul go do your work get out <laughs> like gotta have both sides of the coin right dark and light they work together you gotta know your passion right you gotta know your your truth so spirit is saying yeah they're they're still hanging around with this this with the hangman i can't with these energies it's such a back and forth crisscross energy it's so gross like i can't even with it so let's see death here spirit death to the hierophant that's some powerful energy that's happening right now the relationship has ended here guys it has ended they're sad about the loss with the five of cups okay um they're sad they're shameful they're not working on it anymore so good their focus has changed 
Their focus has changed, spirit. How has their focus changed? Where is their focus going to? They're trying to end their pain. So they're painful too. See, so I get it. And I see that side. And I think, I, I, I understand that healing process, right? It's like, there's good and there's bad in everybody, but it depends on how much of you are being siphoned and the percentage of how much light you can hold in your body. And this karmic is on a very uh, beginner phase of awakening and truly awakening. They, they were living in mind concepts all the time of what they could manifest. And then they tried all kinds of different magic and all kinds of different things is what I'm getting. And that's just, you can't work in magic until you've healed. I'm sorry. You got to be careful with what healers you work with. Um, I've learned that too. <laughs> Trust me, I've learned that. And so this relationship has ended and um, they're in pain. So they're not actioning anything right now. So let's see what's going on. Their mind space is, they're trying to clear it up. They're not actioning. They're not looking at doing anything. They know this. they're not getting anything from this masculine energy. They know they have to be single. They're really looking at how this uh, divine feminine has caused conflict, even if you're in no communication. Some of you may be in communication. Some of you may not be in communication. But they're really at a point where they're like, how does this bitch do this? <laughs> Let's clarify this divine feminine spirit. Let's clarify how this bitch does it. Because I don't know. How do you do it, guys? How do you do it, Divine Feminines? 4K. That's how you do it. <laughs> 4K. Um, divine Feminine. What do they want? They're sad about how they treated Divine Feminine. They're closing off the past with this Divine Feminine because they try to manipulate the past. Look at that. The Magician in Reverse. They try to manipulate the situation knowingly that they were manipulating the situation and manipulating the Divine Masculine with his mind. They're sad about what they did. Their karma's hitting them hard. Whew, their karma is hitting them heavy. Oh, I can feel that in my solar plexus. Ugh, wild purge. Um, this masculine, they manipulated him. That's why he's not actioning it. Trying to get him through sex, all of these things. That's why he's walking away. So what does this karmic energy want with the divine feminine? Because I feel they want something. What do they want with this divine feminine? Sorry, guys. I look down a lot because I'm looking at the cards at the same time. <sighs> things that they worked on are totally like coming to an end here. They don't want to work on it. They don't want to work on it with Divine Femme. They want to talk to Divine Feminine. Ah, I felt it. Communicate in some harsh communication. Bitch, you stole my man. Whatever. It was never meant to be. It's not God's plan. So, bye. Yeah, because they're hanging on. So, they're looking for any way out. So, some of y'all may be getting a call or an email or a text or something from this karmic person. What are they going to say to the Divine Feminine? Because they're hanging on for dear life here about their rejection, about ending the cycle and how they feel rejected. I feel like a reject. Because they know it's not their Ten of Cups. So what do they want to talk about? How to untrap their abandonment issues. They may, they may come forward and be like, I'm sorry that I did black magic on you. This person is getting their karma. <laughs> Yeah, they're getting their karma, y'all. This is not, um, this is not a easy thing. They're, they're getting massive karma. I'm going to pull the, these moon cards. Sorry, guys. I know, like, my decks are on the floor. I'm not at home where I have my nice table on my shelf and the whole bit, but, because I came to Diana. See, that's what happens. I was trying to move this out of here. Yeah, because <laughs> they're in little boxes, so that's why they get mixed up. But I've been trying to allow it to happen because I do clear before everything. So let's see. What does this uh, karmic energy want to say to the Divine Feminine? What is it that they want to explain to the Divine Feminine? Thank you, Spirit's Lady, me to pull this way. They want to give to the Divine Feminine about something, believe in the impossible. How do you believe in the impossible, Divine Feminine? Where does your faith come from? They may want to befriend you and learn from you. Well, they got to know their place, right? It may be something manipulative. You can't trust these divine, uh, the divine feminine. You can't trust these karmics. Some of, I feel that someone wants to reach out. Emotions are running high. Meditate and contemplate. So they're trying to figure out. They're really upset. And this is a form of hanging on. Is what I'm getting. It's an, another emotional manipulation. Because they don't want to face 
what they've done, if they worked in black magic, if they worked in uh, dark energies, they don't know how to heal it. They don't. And they don't know how you're healing it, Divine Feminine. They don't know how you're moving through your darkness. And I know some of you aren't fully through it yet. That's what I'm healing with my clients right now. Um, but I'm teaching them how to stand in their power, right? We have soulmate that popped out. They feel like this was their soulmate. And they want to know Divine Feminine. And the bro they broke up with the axe coming out. So they want to know, like, how, how do you do this? Can you teach me? Can you talk to me about it? And that's going to be up to you guys. I know for myself, I wouldn't do it. Never. I, w I would do ayahuasca with my twins, Carmen, but um, I wouldn't get into a relationship with her. No friggin' way. Nope. Right? Because I'm so sensitive. This is a divine channel. <laughs> hey, so yeah, that cut out. So I had to free up some space on my phone. Too many, too many videos. So let's see what's going on with this karmic energy. Wanting to communicate with Divine Feminine. As I was saying, I was like, no, I would never. I know the energies. Um, but you guys are all in different situations. So what's coming up for you, you know? Um, I would advise against it, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, I would just advise against it. <laughs> because they haven't healed. They're hanging on, right? And as I'm pulling that, we have Girl with the Snake wanting to make it work that they're trying to be lighthearted because they're, they're saying I'm moving on I know but I want to be your friend or I want it to be amicable and again if you guys are in a situation what I'm seeing that there's children involved and things like that of course you would have to be amicable but you have to know your healthy boundaries is what I'm getting here so yeah and I feel the video cut out for that for that reason because I think that's all that's happening with the karmic energies there was a warning that was coming out here for the divine feminine so let's take a look and see some overall energies for dfs don't forget to like and subscribe guys and um yeah let me know if you like this better and also do the poll in regards to what advertisements i'm gonna run on on here you guys can have a, a say of uh which ones to, to run and um don't forget to subscribe because i'm running my contest so Let's see some advice for DFs here. We're going to do Made for Love's Divine Counterpart and Separation deck. What do we have here for the twins, for DFs, for Divine Masculine? What is going on in the energy spirit? Let's take a look. Don't forget, if you guys want to book, if this resonates, if I resonate, if you like my, my teachings, take a look at my Dark Work series, take a look at my Twin Flame stuff, all that channel teachings, everything. If you guys want to come to our retreat and work with me, with Aya, or with psilocybin, or with any other kinds of plants, remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. But yeah, if you want to work deeper and know real Divine Feminine energy, come and hit me up. Let's see. What is going on for Divine Feminine, please, Spirit, and Divine Masculine? What is going on? We have here, the distance between us is between us is killing me. So both y'all are feeling this, okay? The distance, following my heart. Both twins are feeling this right now, okay? We have the world ending cycles. We're going to clarify the distance. I'm with them, but thinking about you. So yeah, they may still be in a home together. They may still be working. They're trying to work things out, maybe being amicable with each other. Um, this karmic is thinking, well, maybe I could be her friend. I, I think that's what I'm seeing in the energies following my heart for both twins here we have i need some space so following your heart but wanting space give me one more on that spirit we have breaking free because there is a breaking free energy that's going on so that's why there may still be some separation that's going on let's see about the world what about the world for spirit there are drastic changes in my life right now yeah so that's what i was feeling like this masculine is definitely breaking free and doing things both of you may be doing it it says there is a third party involved here on the bottom of the deck life partner illumination and union okay so we're going to clarify this i'm going to just see what what's coming through but basically in the overall energies with you know life partner coming into illumination and coming into union um we're going to clarify that for sure because the third party knows so my mother told me someday i will be a very good 
Yeah, let's use this one again. I have that song in my head. <laughs> um, following the divine mother energy, right? Following the divine feminine energy. Divine feminine energy is not controlling. It is flowing and open and ease and you allow it to move you. You know, that's how it is. It ain't controlling at all. It's not in the mind at all. Not at all. All right. So let's take a look here. What is going on with this energy between the twin spirits? Some advice for them, please. So let's talk about this um, because both of you are the distance is killing you both. Okay. Pretty much. And this masculine or this feminine is with this person and it's killing them. And yeah, they're trying to love themselves through a very difficult situation with that queen of swords. Narcissistic energy. That's hard energy to work with. I've been there. Um, and so what is this life partner with the third party involved spirit? That's blocking their, their, their life force. It's not their 10 of cups. We have the king of cups now in reverse with the 10 of cups in reverse. So that's this life partner that they may have decided to be with is not their happiness. Clarify that spirit. It's not their happiness. It keeps them blocked. It keeps them in a place of um, survival. It's attached. It's codependent. We had that before. Now we have the queen of pentacles upright, which is divine feminine. They see how grounded the divine feminine is. They see how abundant the divine feminine is. <laughs> and that's bringing illumination here for this masculine here. We have the page of wands on the bottom wanting to take a new path here. Reunion. Three of cups wanting to make a decision about this elimination to end four of swords and separation so they're trying to work things out in their world right now with this illumination that they have and to persevere towards illumination and clarify that union card changing their plans three of wands in reverse changing their plans oh my god to focus oh my god this is the magic of Rena's world we have focusing on these this eight of pentacles for union focusing that's what they're going to be focusing on completely now okay so that they can give to the divine feminine here and to their union to end toxicity with that devil in reverse they're ending that that came up already not juggling this anymore so they can bring that knight of cups so how are they doing with their break and free spirit because they need some space and they're following their heart but they need this space because Whoever it is is breaking free. Yeah, they're looking that their only option right now, their wishes are being fulfilled, and they are seeing that their only option is um, dealing with this emotional manipulation. Because that came up too. I think my readings are more powerful, yeah? You guys think this way, right? I think so too. I need to see y'all. <laughs> um, what is, so what is this? They're being emotionally manipulated. Definitely. Don't go there all right yeah they're fighting with this emotional manipulation to get a clear what i'm getting is like they want a clear like boom i'm going there you know i'm going there and um yeah i'm being clear because they're having an internal change that they're missing opportunities here if they don't break this down and they're fighting for this they're breaking free that's why they need space right now because they're handling a lot of the physical stuff yeah as soon as i say that night of investments money they're handling a lot of the physical things with this knight of pentacles you know why i didn't want to come on camera because i gained like you know 25 pounds since COVID. it's like i came back from my moon dance last year and i was like woo getting right back in the best shape of my life and then COVID hit and i was like fuck my life i hate my fucking life <laughs> like literally i was like how do i go from that height and feeling divine feminine energy like that to like this killed me and then the last year has been like eh. so i'm looking forward with canada opening up i'm not getting vaccinated but um with canada opening up like the gyms and stuff like i'm finally getting out of that so that's another reason why i didn't want to do like face to face but i'm like fuck it you know what like fuck it my deep my my people need me you guys need to see this and i see now the energy is so much better so i'm just going to do it this way so yeah, let's see the changes. What's going on with ending cycles and the changes that are happening right now? We have moving forward out of instability with the chariot, going into divine balance here, Spirit is saying, okay? Ending a relationship, guys, making those decisions out, even though there's regretful energy. Why is there regret? Listen, you're leaving a manipulative old energy behind. Why are you regretting it? I don't get that. Whenever I ended my relationships, I'm like, thank freaking God. So toxic. <laughs> like... Time for new. Let's go. Bye. 
Um, yeah, so this person is struggling. Not that everyone can do that. I understand not everyone can do that. I know it's hard. Um, it's just my path. Um, yeah, and having regrets because they're depressed here. Their sun, the sun don't shine. The sun was not shining on their side of the world, your person, okay? And they're having regrets because of the, they're in a depressed state because things failed. They try to force things with their ego with this karmic energy with the six of wands. You know, they really thought this was their person, but <laughs> God had out of their answers and revealed the truth. Yeah, that they had to abandon these ways and end the conflict. It's their internal world, right? That's what happens with, the, with divine masculines. We have here had to come into alignment. This is what's happened with them. They've had to come into this king of swords, head and heart alignment. Out of their delays, oh my God, with the death card in reverse, because they were resisting their change. It's too hard. That's a fragility. It's too hard work. I don't want to do it. Well, they're taking responsibility now, going through their crossroads and returning to the past to clean it up as i'm saying that returning it to the past with that six of cups in revert oh sorry six of cups upright and having to block things out so yeah that's what's happening in the connection right now guys i mean the same old thing so i'm gonna leave it at that let's get you some final messages here let's get you some twin flame mirrored <laughs> okay so you know whenever i hit a new vibration or something shifts for me in my world it's like I always get like technical problems. Always. The Watiko shit comes through. So yeah, it cut off again. And this time I don't know why. So the vibe's too high, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe because the vibe is high here. <laughs> Let's get some mirrored messages from my deck. Um, there's some changes that I want to do to this deck, so I'm not going to sell them yet. I want to kind of create some more. So. This is from your person if you are divine masculine watching okay the black is the divine feminine on the other side is the divine masculine which is the white and so however it resonates if you are divine masculine and a divine feminine card shows up there's a direct message that you are getting and if you are divine masculine and a white card shows up that means that that is the energy that your divine feminine is feeling all right and vice versa so let's take a look what are some messages here for the collective spirit? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this, guys. If you want to work with me, take a look down below. Let's see. What is going on? What messages want to come out? They're telling me when to flip. All right. Divine Feminine. I am constantly replaying the past to see what I would have done differently. So, yeah, this is the loop that happens, and it could be the feminine energy within your masculine as well, right? Because it goes both ways. Um, that you're like, could I have done things differently? No. Well, I mean, you could have always. There's always multiple ways that you could have worked out the energies. Um, there, it people don't have to go into separation. I don't believe that you don't have to go into separation, but the energies are so strong that most twins do go into separation. It's usually because the masculine runs. So, um, yeah, because it's the divine feminine that's here to rise. So divine feminine, I am feeling you in every song. All right. So that's the energy there. Divine feminine message. We have I don't understand why we can't talk. Your silence is forcing me deeper into a painful place, and it's really hard right now. I miss you terribly. Oh, that's like the communication. You guys got to let that go, too. I've let that go, too, as well. Um, because, honestly, you got to have to look at it this way, guys. Why do you want to communicate with somebody who is in that kind of gross energy or in that kind of vibe? Like, it's not until your person is really ready to own up and see the illumination and magic of what this path really is about and if they're not ready to do that well go to hell bye enjoy your life like you have to come into a deep place of self-love within yourself right um to really find yourself as divine feminine because this path is about the divine feminine learning her gifts again it's really about that that's why i'm creating the school I am done. So masculine message. I am done with old energy. I'm burning it all down. It's the only way to make room for my queen. So that's some of that stuff that was coming through here in this reading, right? Everything reminds me of you. Yes, because we're abundant. We work with the earth. <laughs> of course, I'm going to show up. Oh, we have a divine feminine message here. I love you in all ways and all forms, including how I love God. I know. Um, divine masculine. 
Your flowering heart called me, but like a hummingbird, I could not linger for long. Can you forgive me? So they felt the sweet nectar, but it scared the crap out of them. They're like, let's go try this flower. Ew, no, this one's better. So the hummingbird will always remember the nectar. Remember that they go back to the sweetest one, right? Um, please live your life to its fullest. I am always, I'm with you always. So yeah, the masculine is like, keep going. Be, they're watching you. They know that you're abundant. They know that you're beautiful. And the more that you're in the divine feminine energy, listen, listen, my loves. Even a soulmate can show up for you, right? You don't have to be with your masculine. Your mission will take place no matter what. So do not get attached to your masculine. Some masculines, they want to play in that. Ew, bye. Have fun with that. You cannot allow your divinity and your power as a divine feminine to be hindered by that. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. They told me to look at the bottom. The Hermit and the King of Wands. End your heartbreak about this masculine in action. Use your own passionate masculine to go within and do that work. And again, if you guys need help with that, hit me up down below for a coaching session um, or a reading. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye. Like and subscribe.